Hey guys, it's Ariel and welcome back to another video. And this is my body. Here we are at week seven of my Jenny Craig weight loss journey, you guys. And today I weighed in at, drum roll please. You guys, for week seven, I'm using my phone. I weighed in at 253.4 pounds. When I started this weight loss journey, I was 262 pounds, you guys. And I lose weight pretty slowly. So if you are out there and you lose weight slowly, keep going. If you are out there and you're feeling like, you know what, January is done, February is almost done, and maybe this weight loss thing just, it just isn't for me. Keep going. If you were out there and you were comparing yourself to other people, stop doing that. But I want you to keep going on your weight loss journey. Remember why you started. You guys, we started this journey because we wanted to lose weight, but what's the reason you want to lose weight? I know for me, I'm 29 and I find that it's way too challenging to keep up with the kids at my job that we run after and we play after. Like, kids should not be able to beat me from one side of the gym to the other when we're playing at work. And I started because I have a loved one who is handicapped and I want to be able to do all the things that they need me to do and do it feeling like my best self. I started because you know what? I want to get my diabetes under control because I've been in diabetic denial for a really long time. You guys, I started my weight loss journey because I finally reached the point in my life where I don't want to look like this celebrity or that celebrity or just have this nice body. I mean, yes, I want a nice body, don't get me wrong, but I need a reason when I feel like quitting or when I feel like giving up that's going to make me want to keep going. And that reason for me is because I want to be healthy. Y'all, so as I said, I have lost almost nine pounds up until now. Now, nine pounds in seven weeks, I'm actually pretty happy with it. So again, if you lose weight slowly like I do for whatever reason, I know mine is medication. I am on a medication called Lexapro for depression, and one of the side effects is weight gain. Now, not as much as some of the other medicines that I've been on uh, prior to this one, but this one is really good for my mental health. So sometimes you feel like you're stuck in this space of like, man, I'm losing weight so slow and everyone else around me is losing weight faster and they're posting their progress pictures more often and they're more chipper, more excited, more all the things when it comes to their weight loss journey. They plate their meals better than I do. And if you are in that stinking thinking mindset like I can sometimes find myself in, I challenge you right now to stop. There are so many different people on so many different journeys in life and you and I are on this weight loss journey together. I never want you to feel like you have to compare yourself to others because God made you special, he made you unique, and he gave you your own special story. So don't compare how fast you're losing weight to someone else. Don't compare your progress pictures to those of someone else. I mean, it's nice to root for other people and to see them doing great. Like, we always want to see each other win like surround yourself with people who can root for others other others you guys be that girl that woman that individual out there who is the cheerleader for other people but don't give so much of yourself away that you feel like you're losing yourself in the journey or don't kind of have it inside of you like oh man they're doing so good I love the way you plate your meals and I love the way that you take your progress pictures and I love the way that you do all these things and then internally get to a place where it's like I don't do those things I just eat my Jenny Craig meals right out of the container and I don't take progress pictures or I don't step on the scale every day. I just feel like I need to tell some of you guys out there to do what works for you. And if you lose weight again slowly, it doesn't matter. Slow and steady wins the race. You guys, I just wanted to update you because I've kind of been in my own head a lot lately. Like, man, as I'm growing on social media and I'm on a couple different platforms, I see so many people who are posting their weight loss journeys and losing pounds really, really fast and others that are losing weight slowly, but I'm just like, where am I in all of this? So if you are in that same mindset, take a step back and realize you don't have to fit in. You don't have to do what other people are doing. Do what works for you. And you guys, Jenny is working for me. It's convenient, it's easy for me to follow, and it's helping me get healthier step by step. I don't know, you guys, I don't mean to sound too preachy, but just if anybody out there is in that same headspace, don't be your own, what's the word I want to use? Don't beat yourself up, you guys. Don't get in your own way because you are going to reach your goals. You guys, I did end up splurging today. I wanted to treat myself with something. If you guys see me looking over here, that's where my viewfinder is. So I'm always looking just to make sure like nothing's in my nose. <laughs> 
But you guys, I wanted to treat myself today. So I actually went out and did something outside of my comfort zone. I decided to do something outside of my comfort zone, which was go and get a facial. Now you guys, it is so challenging for me to do things like this. For me, I'm just like, ew, this is a splurge. Like this is like a super duper special day. Like I would rather save it for like a birthday or special occasion, but I'm learning that it's okay to reward myself because the alternative for rewarding myself for sticking to my weight loss program would typically be, ooh, I'm eating healthy. I'm gonna go get a cheeseburger and fries and a cheesecake and I mean, just all the junk food. I usually reward myself with food, but I'm learning that I don't need to do that anymore. I can reward myself with something that makes me feel good and it kind of just contributes to my journey. So going to get a facial was the perfect thing for me today, guys. It was actually very fun and I highly recommend it. I think I'm gonna give a facial away to one of you guys in an upcoming video, so make sure you subscribe down below and stay tuned for that. You guys, I also went today and I wanted to eat something that wasn't on plan, something I hadn't had in a while, but it was still pretty healthy. You guys, I went to a local smoothie shop, Tropical Smoothie Cafe, and I got a Detox Island Green Smoothie. You guys, smoothie was pretty good. I enjoyed it, and it wasn't anything that was loaded with sugar and calories and stuff to make me feel yucky. Like honestly, after today, just taking time to appreciate myself, it was just like, oh, Ariel, we're learning to love ourselves. And as cringy as that might sound, like it just felt like I was doing the right thing. Like I'm eating good. Let's take you out for something special for eating good. Let's get you a facial and a smoothie and let's just go celebrate you because you're trying to be better. Like you guys, that is like the most like, I don't know like it was just the most awesome thing like I felt like wow this is my life I'm learning to love myself and I'm learning to reward myself without food for I don't know you guys know what I'm saying but it just felt really good to treat and reward myself for doing good so you guys thank you for watching today's video I won't ramble too long but I'm just in a really good mood and I'm really happy to have you here with me I'll see you in the next one bye